Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Evil Dead Fan 1990, and first I want to wish everyone a happy Halloween. Uh, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but hey, like I said, stuff happens, okay? But anyway, happy Halloween, and thank you for subscribing, for watching my videos, and for being on the channel. Now, I want to do a little video, nothing really major, but I want to talk about a must-see movie that's probably one of the coolest Halloween films I've seen in a long time that sets you in the mood. And that movie is, of course, um, Trick or Treat. Right there, see, here's the DVD. You open it up and, ooh, creepy looking pumpkin thingy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is a really great movie. It's a horror anthology. Uh, it's got four stories, four stories. And how it's set up, it's like a creep show meets Pulp Fiction in a way. It's a setup where all the stories intertwine and characters interact with one another and how it just all comes together, that's all. It's really good. It's um, The stories I like, uh, my favorite one is the one with the... Um, uh, which one was it? it was, it's the last story is really good, but the one I like the most is the one with the uh, high school principal. That one is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why, I just like that one. But anyway... Um, really great anthology, and I know there's only one other horror film that's tried this formula, but didn't do so well, and of course that's Creepshow 3. Uh, not my favorite, but Creepshow 3, uh, that's crap. But anyway, this is a really good one. This is just an awesome anthology. It's a fun movie that really feels like a Halloween movie. It does. It sets you right in the mood. It has this, the atmosphere of Halloween. The only other movie that I can think has a great atmosphere to it of the classic horror films is Dead Silence, which is another cool one. So, And I don't want to talk too much about this because, like I said, all the stories intertwine and I don't want to spoil anything. But uh, all I have to say is check this out. And this is doing really good on DVD. I mean, um, for, the fir for the past, like, three times. Um, uh, past three times I went to Walmart uh, for... I think it was this week it was a little bit of last week and this week this was sold out at blockbuster same thing they were all ran out and it was sold out so finally they put a new they put a new they got a new shipment in at walmart and i got the first one right here so great little horror film love it uh so check it out uh, if you're interested and the only thing that's different is i heard the blu-ray has more features and i couldn't find the blu-ray so i got the regular dd but it has the original animated short film Season's Greetings, which is a really fun little animated short um, that um, shows where the origins of this guy came from, right there, the character Sam, I think. A really great movie. Check it out. And um, I just want to do a quick little shout out uh, to, um, to John McBride, the writer and director of two of my favorite movies, and that's, of course, Campbell Campout and The Woodchipper Massacre. Um, these are great movies, and since it's coming around to Halloween, great to watch on Halloween, especially this one. And this one. This one especially. But anyway, these are great movies, and I uh, just want to say thank you, and just want to say thank you, John McBride, for the, you know, for the advice, and uh, for, you know, just thank you. So anyway, uh, this video's kind of starting to get a little long. Uh, I just want to do a quick little thing, so happy Halloween to everyone. I hope you have a fun, safe Halloween. I remember one thing. Always keep always keep the candle lit on the jack-o'-lantern until midnight. Believe me, it'll protect you. War off the evil spirits. Well <laughs> anyway, bye bye.